Today, the anniversary of D-Day, one of World War II's most famous military operations, is still commemorated every year. Like many other French towns on the Normandy coast, Port Saint was in the front line during the D-Day landings. Many lives were lost in the little known but crucial battle that took place here. To try to liberate Nazi-occupied Europe on D-Day, June 6, 1944, the Allies assembled a huge invasion force. On 7,000 ships and an aircraft overhead, over 150,000 Allied troops waited for the most important day of their lives. The Germans have been trying to guess the date of the Anglo-American cross-channel invasion, you know, since 1942. So they knew it was coming. As the Nazis knew an Allied invasion was inevitable, they were well prepared. For two years since 1942, under Hitler's orders, they'd been constructing a formidable line of defenses all along the coast of Nazi-occupied Europe. The so-called Atlantic Wall ran for over 3,000 miles and was strongest in northern France since Allied forces in England were just 20 miles away. In the crucial stronghold of port en bassin in Normandy, the German Atlantic wall defenses overlooking the port are being investigated by French archaeologists. Using a drone equipped with the latest scientific technology, they are hoping to discover new evidence about the Allied attack here. Although an often overlooked battle, it was critical to the outcome of the Normandy invasion. Tout le monde connaît le mur de l'Atlantique, tout le monde connaît les points importants du mur de l'Atlantique, ce qu'on rencontre dans tous les, tous les livres d'histoire. Mais le site est tellement recouvert de végétation qu'on ne peut pas se douter qu'on est sur un point d'appui important, stratégique du mur de, de, de l'Atlantique. On a quelques reliefs qui permettent d'avoir des doutes sur ce qui peut se trouver en sous-sol. Mais c'est vrai qu'à l'œil nu, comme ça, personne ne pourrait dire précisément ce qu'on a vraiment sous nos pieds. Back in June 1944, the cliffside stronghold overlooking the harbor was bristling with German defenses. But three quarters of a century later, it's very hard to imagine the wartime fortifications that are now concealed beneath the undergrowth. Alors ici, on arrive vraiment au cœur de nos problèmes, mais tout autour de nous, il y a quantité de structures archéologiques qui se devinent. On voit toutes ces élévations là mais on ne comprend strictement rien. C'est vrai, chaque bosquet, chaque élévation, en fait, peut laisser penser qu'on a une structure archéologique en dessous. Un vestige allemand, un bunker, quelque chose. Donc là, effectivement, il faut s'en remettre à ces technologies. C'est vrai, c'est la seule méthode pour avoir un plan à peu près fiable de la topographie du site. Mmh, mmh. Tout à fait. To reveal the now hidden wartime defenses, the team is using a drone equipped with remote sensing technology known as light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, by taking hundreds of thousands of measurements a second. Of the level of the ground beneath the drone, the LIDAR can, in effect, strip the land of all of its vegetation and trees. With the help of the drone, the archaeologists will soon be able to reveal what now lies buried beneath their feet. 